Today, you'll be having some fun as you learn Ozobot basics. You will need an Ozobot fully charged and calibrated, color code markers, a pencil, both pages of the Intro to Color Codes basic training activity sheets, and a color code chart. After today's lesson, you will be able to power your Ozobot on and off, calibrate your bot, and program your bot with lines and color codes. Get out your Ozobot and let's get started. The power button has a few functions. First, locate the power button above Ozobot's left wheel. A single quick press turns the bot on. You should hear a small click and all the lights should turn on. When the bot is on, a single quick press will turn the bot off. All the lights should turn off. Another function of the power button is to run programs that are flash loaded from Ozobot Blockly. Ozobot Blockly is the web-based block coding editor that you can use to program your Ozobot. After the program has been loaded, a quick double press will tell your bot to run the program. Once the program has been completed, you can double press the power button to run the program again. Press the power button quickly one time to turn your bot on. Press the power button one time again to turn your bot off. Calibrating Ozobot helps the sensors know what kind of light is in the space where you are working. Calibrate Ozobot at the beginning of each session. Time of day and the weather outside could change how Ozobot sensors see the pages you are working on. First, fill in the black dot that is a little bigger than the bottom of Ozobot. Next, place the bot on top of the black dot and hold down the power button for three to five seconds or until the top LED flashes white. Then release the power button. The bot will turn left and right, move off the black dot, make a sound, and flash green on top. Calibration is successful. If the top LED flashes red, try calibrating again. Note that calibration is also the first troubleshooting step when Ozobot isn't behaving as expected. Calibrate Ozobot by placing it on a black dot and holding the power button for three to five seconds. Now that Ozobot is calibrated, you are ready to become a robot programmer. The line following sensors on the bottom of Ozobot allow it to follow lines. Place Ozobot on the start one of your activity sheet. Watch as it travels along the straight line, the corner, and the curve. Next, fill in the line beginning at start two with black marker. There are guidelines to help you know how wide the line should be. Place Ozobot on Start 2 and watch as it travels along the straight line, the corner, and the curve. A hint about corners. A 90-degree corner or square corner is Ozobot's favorite. If a corner is less than that, Ozobot might have trouble continuing on the line. Place Ozobot on Start 1 and watch as it travels along the straight line, the corner, and the curve. Then, fill in the line beginning at start two with black marker and watch as your bot travels along the line. Find start three and notice there are letters next to the segments of this line. Use black to fill in the segment labeled BK. Use green for the segment labeled G. For the B segment, use blue. And for the R segment, use red. Also, you'll notice two square blocks at the end of the line. One has a B for blue and one has a G for green. Once the line is complete, watch the LED light on top of Ozobot as it goes along the line. When it is following a black line, the top LED is teal. Otherwise, the top LED should be the same color as the line. Fill in each segment of the line in the two blocks at the end with the color indicated. Then observe your bot as it travels along the line. A color code is a group of colored blocks found along a black line that programs Ozobot to perform certain actions. Ozobot did a little dance at the end of the last line because the green and the blue blocks at the end of the line are a color code. 
Your bot is programmed to do a little dance when it sees those two colors together at the end of a line. Note that for Ozobot to read a color code correctly, there needs to be at least an inch of straight black line before the code without any codes or intersection. Most codes need at least an inch after the code too, but some codes need up to two and a half inches of straight black line after the code to perform the code properly and continue line following. Just a few more tips about color codes. Color blocks should be about the same size. Blocks should not overlap. Blocks should not have white space in between and color code blocks should not be too dark. You'll start with symmetric codes. No matter which direction the bot is traveling, when it reads the code, the action of the bot is the same. At the top of page two of the activity sheets, you'll see symmetric codes. Fill in the three boxes in the top line, blue, green, blue, according to the color key, B, G, B. The next line down has three boxes for another color code to fill in with blue, red, blue. The third line down has three boxes for the color code red, black, red. Fill in these three color codes, then fill in the line that connects them with black marker. Then place Ozobot anywhere on the black line and watch what these three color codes program Ozobot to do. Then write on the blank next to the lines what action the bot did after passing the color code. What did each of the color codes program your bot to do? Fill in the blank next to the line. Asymmetric color codes program the bot to perform an action depending on the direction the bot is traveling when it reads the code. At the bottom of the page, find spaces for three more color codes on a black line. The first color code is called Nitro Boost, and it programs your Ozobot to go very fast for three seconds. The code is blue, green, red. Ozobot sees the blue box first. If the bot is traveling over the color code in the opposite direction, it will read the color code as red, green, blue, which is a different color code called Short Super Slow, which programs your bot to go very slow for three seconds. Fill in the color codes using the color key and complete the line that connects the color codes with black marker. Place the bot on start and watch the actions as it travels a different direction over each code. Then find the codes on a color code chart and fill in the missing names of each color code. You have programmed your Ozobot for the first time with color code. You're a robot programmer. Make sure you have completed this lesson by answering these questions. What is a color code? Did you fill in the black dot and calibrate your bot successfully? Did you complete the lines from start one, start two, and start three? Did you fill in the symmetric codes and write the bot's actions on the blank? Did you fill in the asymmetric codes and notice the different actions of your bot? Looking for more? On a blank sheet of paper, draw large shapes and fill in the black lines with black marker and color codes to program your bot. Practice drawing lines of all colors and see how your bot responds to each color.